Yo, what's going on dudes and dudettes? It's your boy GT coming to you live from IKC's channel. So, you know, first off, big thanks to your man IKC because he doesn't have to let people get on this channel. So, that's a big thanks for me for letting me get on this channel and let y'all know who I am. Like I said, I'm God's teachings. I like to upload sports games and give, you know, my thoughts on the video games and what's going on. So, you check out my channel and see some, some gameplay. Some nice gameplay and some interesting topics. This game right here was more of a... Just a chill game, a fun game between my friend. If you want to see some more of the serious ranked games, go to my channel. So, just, just check that out. But, for this video, I want to talk about something that I talk about with everybody. Because I love to get everybody's opinion on this topic. And it's a reoccurring topic the past couple of years in the NBA. Now, let's get into this topic at hand. Which is, are super player teams killing the NBA? And when I say super player teams, they're... You got super teams and super player teams. A super team is a team like the Thunder, a team like the Spurs, teams that got built from the ground up, had to learn how to lose before they learn how to win and win titles. Well, I mean, hey, OKC hasn't won a title, but you know they're going to win one pretty soon. I mean, that's, that's without a doubt. Or, you know, teams that go through free agency and try to get players to, to get that push for a quick ring, like, say, the Miami Heat or the New York Knicks or I, I hate to say the Clippers or the Lakers. You know, teams like that. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. But I just like to know you guys' opinions because a lot of my friends in the current time say that that's killing the league and it's not competitive anymore because you see the same teams in the playoff every year with with the other teams. Say uh, Indiana Pacers not getting a chance to win. Or a team like that. Say my favorite team, the Houston Rockets. You know, a lot of people don't think we have a chance. I, I think we might be decent in the playoff with James Harden and all. But I just want to know what you guys think about that because... There's, I've heard all different scenarios and people try to blame different people because they say it all started with LeBron which I kind of disagree with because if you really look at it it started with Boston yeah those players may have been past their prime you know Ray Allen and uh, Kevin Garnett but at the same time that was the first team to get some players and they got a ring so I feel like hey LeBron saw that and he was like hey huh, I see these dudes they, they called each other up and said hey I'm trying to get on the same team so what did he do Called up D-Wade on the phone and was like, yo, D-Wade, I'm trying to win a ring, man. Let's, let's do this. And that's what they did. And then what happened after that? You seen Chris Paul say, yo, yo, Kobe, bro. Yo, Kobe, I, I'm trying to win a ring, so let me get on your team. And then which led to Melo doing the same thing. <laughs> Called up Amari in New York. is like, yo, I'm trying to win a ring. Let me get on your team. And the process is just going on and on. I mean, granted, these are all grown men. They can do what they want to do. Like LeBron, he can do what he wants to do. He's a grown man. Ain't, nobody can control him. He felt like he had the best opportunity to win in Miami. I like LeBron. I'm not taking that from him. But at the same time, it does suck to see the direction that the NBA is going in nowadays. But not, it's not that it doesn't seem like it's competitive as it used to be with all these players. It's time that instead of playing these players, they rather just play with them and get a ring. And you could make the argument at the same time that, it, like in the past times, in the 90s and 80s, when you got teams like Showtime or the Pistons, Teams like that that had, you know, super teams and they got rings. But it's not the same when you have a player just decide one day in free agency that he just wants to go play with another player to win. So, you know, if you guys can just leave some feedback on that right there, let me know what y'all think about that. And do you think that that trend might end or is that something that's going to be forever now? I think once this – it's just like a cycle. So if these players, I think once they finish out their careers, they'll, they'll, they'll stop that. And y'all see he almost, like, got that. I thought that went in. I was laughing, man. I was like, how did he make that? And you see he gets a nice Lob City play right there. But, yeah, I don't even know. I thought that was going to go in. I don't usually see that full court shots. I don't, I've don't. i never made one in my history of 2K. So I know he was pretty happy, even though I got waved off. Not everybody can say that they made a full court shot. But back to the topic at hand, like I was saying. Just leave some feedback on that. Let me know what y'all think about that. And I made a video about this on my channel, but I'd also like to know, if you take away these super teams, say Melo was still in still in Denver, say Amari and Steve Nash were still in the Suns. You know, what teams would you like to see back in the day that didn't win a ring with those players together like LeBron and Cleveland still? You know, teams like that. What what players do you guys think, or even a Chris Paul in New Orleans? You know, I want to know what you guys think. Which one of those teams would you have liked to see win a ring before the teams got broken up? I mean, you could even say uh, an AI, an AI. I mean, not a lot of people hear about that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I would just like to know because I always think about what ifs. You never know what could happen if those players would have stayed together like a KG in Minnesota because that was a great team to watch. KG with Wally Zerbiak and Latrell Sprewell choking out the coach. 
that was a great – when I was thinking it was – I don't know what year it was, but I know they played L.A., and I watched that series as a kid. That kind of made me a Timberwolves fan. So, like I said, just leave some feedback. What do y'all think about that? What teams would y'all have liked to see win a ring? Because if it wasn't Timberwolves for me, I'm going to have to say it was Phoenix Suns, man. That was a great team to watch with Sean Marion, teams like that. And let me know about that super player thing. I mean, do, are you guys against it or are you guys for it? I mean, I'm not for it or against it. I'm kind of, I want to say indifferent. Because at the end of the day, these are grown men. They got to do what they got to do to win. But I see where people are coming from when they say it's killing the league and killing the integrity. I mean, I guess it's just not that competitive thing anymore. You'd rather just play with the best. But I know for me, I'm always trying to take on the best. And that wraps up this little fun game here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some feedback on that topic. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, big up to IKC for letting me go on this channel. And I'm gone.